What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you've never heard of me before, my name is Hunter Rollins. I own a 2017 Ford Focus ST3 that I work on and I also have my own project car which is a 1991 MX-5 Miata. So the Miata, I haven't really done a lot of modifications to it. I've pretty much, I've put a lot of money into it but it's been a lot of money just in maintenance things and the things that the car has needed. I mean, the car's 30 years old. It needs a lot of preventative maintenance, and that's pretty much what I've been doing. And I just haven't been filming a lot of that. I'll update you at some point on what the Miata, what all of it has been done, and what all I've done to make the car where it is right now. It's had a lot done to it, but you can't really tell unless I explain what all has been done because it's just small stuff, small hidden stuff that so doesn't really that isn't really shown or isn't really flamboyant in any particular way. But anyways, that's not the point of this video and that's not what we're talking about today. What you see in front of me here is the point of the video. Today what I have before you is everything that you need to put an aftermarket quick release steering wheel on your MX-5 Miata or any car in general. What I have right here is your hub adapter so that when you pull the steering wheel off, this is what slides over that, that that big center nut and you bolt that to it and it converts it to a six lug. I got the short hub adapter because I'm 6'4 and the Miata's really small. But I'm gonna go ahead and open this and see what this looks like. Like I said, this is what goes over that, this is what goes over that center um, nut. You slide it over there, the nut falls on top of that and it converts it to a six bolt. Now, if you don't want a quick release, this is gonna be that all that you need if you just want the car to be, or the steering wheel to just be permanent onto your um, steering rack. This is all you need. Next on the list, this is our quick release. So we'll bolt this quick release to the hub adapter, I think. I honestly don't know how all this works. Pretty simple, I think. I don't know. I haven't done it yet. And now here's what you've all been waiting for. The steering wheel. So I debated between a few companies on buying a steering wheel, mainly Sparco and Grip Royal. But I ended up going with Grip Royal just because of some stuff that I haven't told you about yet that I'm pretty excited about. And plus, I just done some research, and they're really, uh, they, they really seem small creator driven. They're not strictly wanting to do like the big dogs, the big FD drivers, or anything like that. They enjoy doing small creators. So what this is, this is the GT style 330 millimeter wheel so as you can see it's not like the flat wheel it's not the 350 millimeter it's not the flat the flat one is the king 350 millimeter this is the gt 330 millimeter it is real suede it's a very very well made wheel you can put you can tell that they put a lot of time and effort into it and i'm really excited and really happy that i'm able to be running a grip oil wheel on my car i didn't want energy or anything like that i wanted something that had character um, something that felt like it had a family behind it. Like, it, even as I say that, it says right here in this mirror hand it, please hang this to proudly display your acceptance to the Grip Royal family. I think that's really cool. I really like what they're doing down there in Mississippi. And I really look forward to possibly getting some more Grip Royal things and maybe get my own custom wheel one day. Who knows? But for right now, I'm really excited to run this one. When you buy a Grip Royal wheel, all you get is this wheel. You don't get any anything else but the wheel. So, I ordered a horn button kit separately. There was a couple of different ones I could choose from. I ended up choosing like this uh, this bubble one right here. But other than that, that's pretty much all it takes to install a wheel on your car. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna back the Miata in and then we're gonna kick off getting started removing the wheel and putting the new wheel on. First, there should be some 10 millimeter bolts. Oh, okay. Well, there's supposed to be four holding this thing on, but there was only two holding it on, so. So there goes the airbag. Now you just have, or are supposed to just have this 21 millimeter. Oh, well, that was easy. Oh, 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 oh,
looks like now these are for the airbag. Stay community college. I was just calling to follow up with you on your last module. Okay, so right here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Two wires. These go to the airbag. So if I Cross them like that, and then I guess we'll just move them back out of the way. Put a little black maker over them. Okay. So before I do this quick release, remove this locking pin. Anyways, I took this locking pin out. That way I didn't have to reach around and press the button and pull back. I can just pull on it and the wheel will come off. I can put it on, turn the wheel, and it'll clock into place without having to worry about pressing that pin to pull it back. All right, so I just went ahead and tightened this nut down. gonna have to take it back off and readjust this because this is crooked so let's go for a drive yeah it fell on me <laughs> I don't know what that was but I didn't like that Okay, okay, so basically what happened at the end of the clip that you just watched was I went to take the car for a drive and show you the steering wheel and everything and it broke. The, yeah, the, the car broke. I don't know if it's like this for all Miatas. I figured out what was wrong with it, but in the floor right there, underneath that floor mat sits the ECU. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I couldn't find a place where it was supposed to go or where it was supposed to hang or attach to. So I just put it back there when I was messing with it. And so basically, um, when my brother was sitting next to me filming, his foot tapped the ECU and it glitched out and it started misfiring. Since then, I have unplugged it and replugged it and it works fine, but that's what happened. I noticed every time he would move, the ECU would glitch out and that was the cause of what you just watched. Uh, so I'll, I'll have to figure out a place to fix that. But other than that, let's finish off talking about this steering wheel. So I noticed that in the beginning when I showed you everything, I didn't tell you what the hub adapter and the quick release was. Basically, this is a NRG short hub adapter with an NRG 2.5 quick release. So there's the quick release right there. It's the 2.5. That's basically all you need. There was a locking pin on it that I removed. So. If the, if the steering wheel is locked into place, instead of having to reach around, press in a locking pin and pull it back, all you have to do is reach, pull it back, and the steering wheel will detach, and then just spin and lock back into place. 
So that that's basically why I pulled that locking pin out. I mean, it's it really it's just an extra precaution. But I mean, I've shaken and done everything you can think of to see if this will if it would come out, and it's not. Um, and so everybody that I know pulls that locking pin out because I mean, in the case that there is an accident and you do need to get the wheel off for any reason, uh, it's really not safe to have to try to maneuver and press in that locking pin to pull it out. I think it's better that you pull the pin out. That's just me. Um, people will argue against that. Since the suspension in the Miata is shot, my little cheap like $12 suction cup thing that goes on the window, every time I use it in the Miata, the Miata shakes it and it falls off so I can't use it with this camera. I could probably use it with a GoPro but I just don't really want to. I would give you some driving footage of me driving with it but I've already had it for like two days and so with me just holding it right here and driving around i don't feel like it would do you guys any good if you do want to see a video of me just driving around with this wheel which i'm sure you'll see anyways in f further videos if you want to see it uh just shoot a comment down below but let, let, let's talk about is it worth it is it okay so for the steering wheel i paid 212 dollars for the grip oil steering wheel the horn button kit was 40 dollars the quick release was a hundred dollars and the Short hub adapter was $110. So altogether, I paid $462 for this um, this steering wheel setup that I have right here for the quick release and everything. So let's talk about is it worth it for that amount of money? Driving around with it for two days, I'm gonna say a solid yes. I love it. Um, this the steering feels so much better. It feels tighter to me. I know it's not, but it's just. It, it feels that way. I can feel the road more through the wheel. Before, the steering wheel was probably a good two inches or maybe even three inches, two and a half inches back. Me being 6'4", when I would be driving, the steering wheel would be almost touching my leg and now it's farther back. Um, you do have to reach for the blinkers a little bit more, but that's not that big of a deal. And just being taller, it's more, I have so much more leg room. And then, then when you have the wheel off, it's so much easier to get in and out of the car because you don't have a steering wheel there in the way. It makes it so much better. I love it. I mean, it may not be that big of a deal for you uh, shorter people, but for me, I think this wheel is 100% worth it. I love everything about it. I. I think Grip Royal is a great company. The I have not had any issues so far with the short hub adapter or the quick release. It's great. I love everything about this setup. So I 100% recommend it. If you are interested in this wheel, the horn button kit, the quick release, the short hub, any of it, I'm going to include a link to everything in the description below. So if you want the setup that I have right here, everything that you need to acquire it will be in the description. So be sure to check that out. Also, help this video get out to other people, other Miata enthusiasts or other people that want to see a uh, steering wheel be installed on a car. Help get this video out to them. Go ahead and hit the like button. The more people that click the like button, the more people that YouTube or the algorithm will recommend the video to. Also, go ahead and click the share button. Share it with a friend. Share it on Facebook. I don't care what you do with it. Share it with your grandma. I'm super excited to have my first like physical, visual-ish mod on the Miata because it, I, it shows that it's going somewhere. All I've pretty much been, been doing to it since I bought it is preventative maintenance other than the speakers and actually having a radio in it. But this is like the first, to me, it's a big step for it. I'm super excited to keep working to keep on working on the Miata and seeing where it goes. I'm not exactly sure which direction I wanna take with it, but I love this thing, dude. I'm super excited about these Miata videos. They're doing better than the Focus videos are. And I think that's incredible because this thing's a piece of junk. I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you next time. Peace out.